I mean, I was jogging. I hate jogging. <laughs> Jogging's amazing. Jogging is the worst, Chris. I mean, I know it keeps you healthy, but God, at what cost? Actually, the dress that Julia Roberts wore is a prostitute in Pretty Woman. I know, I look really good at it. I need like a sweatsuit or something. I need to send out a signal that nothing is gonna happen. Oh, this is insane. It's so obvious you're dying to be together. And now you're going on a road trip? I mean, you guys could literally get a room. Yeah, and I could literally get a fired. All right, I will help you anti-seduce him. Just tell me what else you need. I need to think of unsexy, boring conversation topics we can talk about in the car. I have a few ideas. We could discuss the New Yorker article, The History of the Ladder. Okay. We could talk about different dorms at Johns Hopkins University. And I could read from my Sonicare booklet. Oh, I have a good idea. What? Why don't you ask him about his penis? And Perkins. Chris, hey. I heard you were back. Yeah. I didn't do this because of you. Uh, well, it looks great. Yeah, you look great, am I right? <laughs> it's so good running into you. you know, we should get together soon, I'd love to catch up. Me too, ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard, I just... Is... Oh, <laughs> it's so delightful. I relish your wit. <laughs> well, I salsa... Your face. What? No, damn it! What are you bidding on? It better not be Terrence Howard's tank top from Hustle and Flow. It is not. Good, because I am bidding on it, and I am ready to spend an amount that my accountant calls dangerous and irresponsible. JJ's Diner put an old waffle iron up for auction. It's the perfect breakfast day gift for Leslie. Breakfast day? Leslie has anniversaries for everything. Zoo day, the first time we went to the zoo together. Double date day, it was the first time we went on a double date. Daniel Day-Lewis day. Talk like a pirate day. Talk like a Pittsburgh pirate day, which why and how. This calendar was last year's calendar day present celebrating the first time she ever bought me a calendar. <sighs> there is a crazy flu going around. Lots of miserable, dehydrated people with high fevers and diarrhea. And one of those dehydrated, high-fevered, miserable people is April, who hates me. I want another nurse. Well, there are none. We're stretched pretty thin right now. Then I want a janitor. They can do what you do, right? Yep, nurses and janitors are totally interchangeable. Except no one dresses up like a janitor when they want to be slutty. I get the sense that maybe you're angry at me for kissing Andy. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? That's crazy. And that you think it might be fun to take it out on me. Please don't do that. Do? I can't do anything. I'm sick. My blankets are on the floor. I thought you might like a fresh set of pillows. Are you trying to smother me? Help! The slutty nurse is trying to smother me to death with a pillow! Okay, never mind. Stay back, slut. I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to get me to break. And you know what? I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be professional, and I'm gonna put on a happy face, and then I'm gonna go into a supply closet and snap a bunch of tongue depressors. What? Three, two, one, and my shift's over. What the? What is your problem? Oh, I thought you weren't gonna lose it. Well, I was on duty, I didn't. Now it's just me. I get that you're mad that I kissed Andy, okay? But it was a moment of confusion and it was a mistake and I'm very sorry. You wanna hate me forever? Okay. Fine, you know what, I don't care. But you shouldn't take it out on Andy because he really likes you and he did nothing wrong. And just for the record, I'm starting to hate you too. That's the most I've ever liked Dan. Yeah, just have Mr. Traeger call me when he gets back in. Actually, you know what? Don't tell him that I called. Just when he gets there, can you text me and tell me he's back? You know what? Let's just pretend this didn't happen, okay? This is Jerry Gergish calling, bye. I have to tell you a secret, but if you tell anyone, I will kill you slowly with a giant syringe. Good morning, April. What's your secret? I'm thinking about applying to veterinary school in Bloomington. <gasps> oh my God, April, that's great. Whoa, where'd you get that? The internet. So I really need a letter of recommendation and since you work in a hospital as a janitor, nurse, I was wondering if maybe you would write one for me. Really? Generally, between us, April always has the upper hand and that hand is usually giving me the finger or pouring honey in my purse. But now I have the upper hand and I'm going to use it to crush her into being nice to me.
I would be happy to write you that letter. I actually know the guy who runs the veterinary program over there. Because you hooked up with him? I don't hook up with everyone I know. Although, yes, we did hook up. But before I write you that letter, you have to spend the next week with me and do everything I say. So I have to be your slave or something? No, you have to be my friend. No, that is so much worse. Don't do that. You know, I think any of the four previous locations would work, but there's something about this place. It's just a really good energy here, you know? Lots of natural light. It's tiny and awful and loud. And it's zoned 14B industrial waste cleanup site. We should technically be wearing hazmat suits right now. This seems like the kind of place a ska band would go to shoot heroin. I gotta say, this report is quite impressive, Ms. No. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mr. City Manager. And I have to say that the way that you're rocking those slacks is quite impressive as well. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Can we hurry this up, please? What? There's nothing wrong with acknowledging the fantastic work of one of your employees, especially if she's adorable. I am back at the Parks Department, and Ben is City Manager, but we're married, so it's kosher and awesome. We live together. And work together. And we are so in, in sync. sync that we finish each other's sentences. We rehearsed that at home. Naked in bed. What? Please stamp the form. I just want to admire it one more time. Again, fantastic work. In fact, such good work. I think I'm in love with you. Oh my god, that's great news because I'm in love with you too. What? Stamp the form. Okay, let's not let Ron feel left out. We love you too, Ron. Stamp the damn form! Group hug! Oh, I'm down for a group hug. Little GH. Bring it in. Come on. Wow. <laughs> I think our love made him angry. Uh, I think he broke my wrist. I'm not kidding. Really? This looks like fun. I want to try. Mm, there's rules to this, Sweepy. It's Donna's turn next. I'll save my time to Anne. I have a feeling this is going to be good. Okay, well, I'm not gonna talk for long because I have to pee again. Because I have to pee every six minutes because I have a beach ball in my stomach that's punching on my bladder. <laughs> that sucks. I know. And I'm never not hungry. Oh, well, have some cheese. I can't have cheese, Larry. And I can't have wine either. I can't have anything good. You know what I can have is liquefied flaxseed. But I don't want that. You know what I want? Pork rinds. I want jelly beans, and I want a huge trash bag filled with mashed potatoes. I want to be Pac-Man, and instead of dots, I want them to be cinnamon buns. I want to be a giant head and a mouth, and I just want to eat rows and rows of junk food pellets, and where's my trash bag of potatoes? <sighs> Time. Yikes. Who just put a hundred of these in their body? Pretty unhealthy today. You might need one of these. Nutrium by Sweetums. If you can't beat them, Sweetums. I love that song. Oh. I need to go check my email. We're gonna sell these in the park now. They're healthy. Holy God, no, they're not. They're terrible for you. No, they're not. There's a picture of Lance Armstrong on there. Yeah, look at the ingredients. High fructose corn syrup, corn syrup. There's only eight grams of fat. Yeah, per serving. A bar is four servings. Well, people seem to enjoy them. Look how happy everybody is. Yeah, that's uh, a sugar rush. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. They're gonna crash soon and it's not gonna be pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna crash soon too because I've eaten like 40 of these. Oh, God. Generally, I like to stay out of other people's business, but Pawnee is the fourth most obese city in America. The kids here are beefy. They're just husky, big bone, plus size chunk monsters. I call them like I see them. Ann Brickens. Hey, Chris. Got to run to a meeting with Ron. Great idea. I'll run to my next meeting. Sorry, the door was open. I wish this office had only walls. Chris broke up with his girlfriend a week ago, and I have decided to ask him to be the father of my baby. Except I cannot work up the nerve to do it. Turns out they don't make greeting cards for asking your ex-boyfriend if he will artificially inseminate you. Actually, Ron, I, I could use your advice on how to be blunt and honest. I want my friend to do something for me, and I don't know how to ask him. What do you want him to do? Plant ficuses in my front yard. Grossest metaphor ever. I've seen your house. You'd have more success if he planted ficuses in your backyard. No, I don't think so. 